Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a bit of a tutorial in Pixinsight. Now the one thing I will say is I'm by no means an expert and this isn't an image processing tutorial. This is just really a tip just to help you get the most and certainly more speed out of Pixinsight processes. Especially with an old computer where you maybe haven't got so much RAM. When you install Pixinsight it creates what's called a swap folder. Now the swap folder is a folder it creates on your hard drive that it uses to read and write information during the running of the processes within Pixinsight. This is where it saves information while you're using your Pixinsight, but at the end of your, your routine and shutting Pixinsight down, it will empty these folders so they're always left with nothing in them. It's just temporary space on your hard drive. But by creating more of these swap folders, you can actually speed up your processes within Pixinsight very significantly, and that's what I want to talk about. So I want to take you onto my desktop now, into Pixinsight, show you where they are, how to set them up, and show you the difference that it will actually make by having more than the one that Pixinsight installs on your computer. So let's get onto the desktop. Okay, so we're in Pixinsight now, and the first thing you want to do is go to Script, Benchmarks, Pixinsight benchmark, enter, and then run the benchmark. Now I've already run this just to save a bit of time, but at the end of the benchmark you want to click on the report tab and then save it as a text file, and it'll give you a text file with all the figures. So let's just close that down. Then you want to have a look under Edit, Global Preferences, and then directories and networks, and this is where your swap storage directory. Now, this is the one it creates by default on your computer. If you read the information here that pops up, it actually tells you a lot of useful information here, so it is worth reading. So the first thing you want to do is create a folder on your C drive called Pixinsight Swap, just on the, on the root directory of your C drive, which I've already done. Then click on Add, Go to your C drive, and in my case here, Pixinsight Swap Folder. Click on that folder, and click Select Folder, and you can see that it adds it. Now this is the important bit. What you want to do now, is you want to add this same folder multiple times. You don't just want to keep creating more directories and adding those. You want to actually add the same folder multiple times. This is actually better, and it's quicker. And it does tell you this within this pop-up box that comes up. So click on that folder again, click on Add, and click on Select Folder. And you want to add this. In my case, I've added it four times. Add, Select Folder. So you see where this is going. Now I've got a Pixinsight swap folder on each of my three hard drives that I've got installed. I've got three SSD drives. You might have one, two, three, whatever. And I'm going to add the same folder four times on each drive. So I've added it four times there for my C drive. As you can see, it's the same folder. You don't create new ones, you just add the same one multiple times. And now I'm gonna to go to my D drive and I'm gonna add the Pixinsight swap folder I've got on there. Again, I'm gonna add that four times, okay? And I'll do the same with my E drive. So we'll add that again select folder so you can see I've got the D drive twice add it again select folder so that'll be three times sometimes it'll take a few seconds just to populate this and then again add and select folder so I've got D drive added four times and C drive added four times so I'm going to go to add again and then I'm going to go back to my computer onto my E drive, which is my third hard drive, Pixinsight swap folder, which I've already created, select, and that will add that one, and then I'm going to add that four times as well, select, add, select, so that's three times, add, and select, so there you go, I've added the three folders I've created, swap folders, one on each of my three hard drives, I've added each one four times. When you've done, make sure you click on Apply Global, otherwise it won't actually uh, remember this and it will just resort back to the single swap folder here. And then close that. And then you want to close Pixinsight 
and reopen it just so it can make sure that those swap folders have actually been remembered and they are installed properly. And then we want to go back to the script, benchmarks, PixInsight benchmark, enter, and then you want to run the benchmark again. And this will give you another report. Click on report and save, and it, you save it as a text file, which I've already done just to save a bit of time. So we're going to close that. It's not responding, but anyway, I can open up these two files. These are two text files. One on the left is the report I got from the single swap folder, which is what PixInsight installs automatically. The one on the right is the report I got when I had the 12 swap folders. That's adding the same folder four times for each drive. And if we look down here at the execution times, what it actually does when it runs this benchmark, it actually processes an image in the background. This is all built into PixInsight. It runs several processes on an already already image that's in PixInsight, and that's how the benchmarking tool runs. The total execution time with the single swap folder was 1 minute and 29. The total time with the 12 swap files was 59 seconds. That's an increase of over 30%. The CPU time here, well that doesn't really alter much because the CPU, whatever you've got in your computer, it is what it is. Swap time, it took 1 minute and 6 seconds doing all the swap processes. On this one, it actually did it in 37 seconds. So you can see that's a 30% increase again. 250 megabytes a second transfer rate with the single folder, 447 with the 12 swap folders. And again, you've got some more performance figures down here. Swap performance 1386 as opposed to 2479. Now I've got a fairly decent computer. I've got an AMD Ryzen 5900HX. This is eight cores, 16 threads. If you've got an older computer, you might not see quite as much of an increase, but it definitely will help with the processes. But don't expect the CPU time to alter, because your CPU is obviously set. That will just run at its fastest anyway, so that won't alter. It's the swap time that will obviously come down considerably, which will bring your total time down considerably, and that's where you'll get the benefit. Because you've got a much bigger swap folder, um, by having the multiple ones, it's a much bigger space, and it can re write to those, read and write to those multiple folders that you've added uh, at the same time. That's why it's best to add the same folder multiple times. Speeds it up even more. You can add multiple folders, but there's no point. It's just creating more time for you setting them up, and it's actually not going to give you any benefit. It actually states within the PixInsight information just to add the same folder multiple times. There is a point of diminishing returns where if you add that many, you're not going to get much of an increase. On my computer, I found adding each one four times gave me the best increase. So that's how you do it. Like I say, run the benchmark to start with see what figures you get, save the file, and then run it again after you've created uh, the individual swap folders. So I hope that was of some use to you. Give it a go within your, your PixInsight setup. Let me know what you think. Leave, leave a comment. Let me know how much of a speed increase you got, if you felt that it was worthwhile doing or not. And uh, like I say, I hope it was of some use. If so, think about leaving a like and subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Until then... Clear skies.